Hi there, guys. How are you today? I hope this reading finds you in a good way. I am Durga Diana. I'm from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to this channel. If you're new and if you are a new subscriber and you have been following along together on this journey, this is the Daily Tarot Messages from Loving Spirit series I offer on um, our YouTube channel. Um, this is a love reading, so it's called a Daily Tarot Mess Messages from Loving Spirit. And um, this is going to be a love reading taking place within our collective. Uh, it may not resonate with everybody, but um, there, I'm going to talk about what the reading is about. You're going to have some kind of familiarity. If this is resonating with you, there may be some energies here that may connect with you and your situation. Um, so there's a lot of cards here today. Um, and uh, I got the energy of your person and then I got the energy of the viewer. So it could be like you could be uh, your person and then... Um, the person could be the viewer like you have to um, be cautious about the energies and how what your energy is and then what your person's energy is um, so that's a way to decipher this reading another thing that you could also do is to get a personal reading so i do offer that and those that information will be listed below so uh, we're going to get started here. Um, only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and uh, follow your intuition and take the energies how they apply to your situation. So we are going to get started here and uh, let's get into the energies towards each other in this reading. So the reading has to do with the magician in the mirror. There is some kind of energy where um, either you or your person is feeling like something has occurred where mm, there may be some type of um, block in, in the manifestation. If you're wanting to manifest something, there may be some type of block here. Um, for, the, for the person here, there's the tower card. So your person... Um, it's regarding things falling, falling apart and something to do with um, a block with the um, manifestation, like um, maybe not knowing about their power, like how they can manifest using their gifts and their tools, their energy to create their reality or to manifest in their world. Um, there's something that crumbled there, something, um, some kind of false foundations were uh, destroyed by the universe. Uh, and it's having, to, it's having to do with this block uh, in connection to, um, you know, knowing what your power is and being able to use your power to manifest. So uh, with that being said here, uh, your person's energy is the king of wands. So everything has crumbled here. And now they're taking action and leadership here. So um, that's very interesting. So this tower energy must have really did something. Because now they're in this energy of the king of wands. Which is all about taking action and leadership. This is all about confidence. This is all about following through from the start till ending not giving up on the passion, this strong fire energy, leadership energy, action energy, um, passion energy. And look at what we have here. It's connected to the door to romance. So this is all about um, either this is finding out about, uh, you know, this romance. Maybe it's uh, unlocking uh, the the cage there. Um this is about romance. This is about romance. This is about a relationship. This could be about a commitment. This could be about a new uh, relationship too. Or um, this could be like, um, you know, opening the door to romance. If you guys are in a connection here uh, to rekindle that fire, to rekindle that romance. So 
taking action and leadership here. Um, and this is, uh, this is what the energy is. For you, the viewer, we have here Hero Fint and Adjacent Possibilities. So there is an energy of following some type of traditions or being very cautious, like uh, following guidelines, being rigid, um, a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. Um, this could be a marriage too. The Hero Fint could be marriage or it could be contract. It could be soul contract. Um, this is also a very, this is a very rigid, rigid type of energy. And it's like you're following uh, a precedent of rules and um, you're following that to a T. You know what I mean? You're not steering and veering off in a different direction. This could represent like um, uh, structures, uh, like uh, already made structures that you follow as well. So this type of energy here is inside of this adjacent possibilities. So there is um, this energy here is like uh, following this energy here is going to lead to uh, adjacent possibilities. All right. So that's the viewer's energy. Okay, so we're going to get into the reading here. So your person, this is your person here. And uh, we have a lot of cards here. Okay, so I'm just going to go uh, one by one here. This actually goes last. Okay, so the pers your person's reading is about life purpose. So, And uh, the life purpose is like your path and what you are meant to do in the world. There is this energy of heart and radiating heart out. It's, it's circling the earth. You know, this love is to be a loving person. And um, there's some kind of purpose here connected to the heart center and um, being a part um, uh, like you're opening your heart and then you're allowing your heart to guide you. This is part of your life purpose and this is what is guiding you. Uh, this King of Cups energy here is, is a masculine energy who is a master of their emotions they're able to, you know, they're able to express their emotions, but also they're able to handle their emotions. They're in their heart space. They are intuitive and they really flow. They can flow with the emotions. All right. There is an energy of compassion to they're very loving. So this energy is in connection to the life purpose. So this is what the reading is about. This could be about a masculine, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But there is, this, there is a life purpose here and this King of Cups, the heart-centered masculine, uh, mastering themselves emotionally, intuitively, creatively uh, inside of this life purpose. Um, and this King of Cups here is coming out of heartbreak. So this is about um, uh, utilizing that energy of the heart to... Um, to, to come out of heartbreak and then uh, to also um, be able to um, continue their life purpose, okay? We have engagement here. So this could involve a an, an engagement, an actual engagement if you're in a connection with this person. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it could be about a... Uh, an ascension of of the commitment this could be going to the next level with engagement we have here page of swords it's about a new ways new ideas new investigation new forms of communication new ideas in connection to ascending to a higher level of commitment which could be uh, about an engagement and it's about a reconciliation here regarding uh, adjudication energy all right so adjudication is like you're going um like you're going in front of a judge right and uh you're pleading your case and um inside of this case is about uh a reconciliation so it's like coming uh into a formal setting to um hash out uh each other's cases 
and in in this case it's it's to have a reconciliation all right so a uh, reconciliation through this judication energy and uh we have the phoenix here uh this is a major transformation a new phase rekindling renew transformation growth so there is an extension here of a higher level of commitment and there's also a new phase, a transformation growth, a changed mind. This is a very major transformation. The Phoenix energy is a very big transformation. It's clarified by uh, Ten of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. The... The Ten of Pentacles is an energy of like, fine, it's abundance, it's physical abundance, it's feeling very well off in the world, and uh, it's in connection to a Knight of Pentacles. Maybe something was stagnate, stagnating, like something was taking a long time, or there was, there was some kind of delay with making some type of offer, some type of solid offer. Maybe this was uh, stagnating for quite some time. And it's connected to abundance. There has been some type of transformation or new um, new phase in connection to this energy. So this is what the reading is about. So your person's energy towards you is with this coming out of this pain through this heart-centered masculine energy as a part of the soul purpose, as, par as part of the life purpose. Your person's energy is, um, and I had to get clarifiers here. There is some type of um, Seven of Swords energy in connection to the Four of Wands. Seven of Swords is an energy of deception. There's an energy of being sneaky or trying to get away with something. And the Seven of Swords is associated with the Four of Wands. This is a coming together. This is like a homecoming. Um, this is like a celebration, all right? Usually, uh, you see here, there's a family here. This could involve a family. Uh, there's two people here that are connected to each other. There is a child there. There may be uh, a, a girl there as well in the family. But uh, the Four of Wands is a uh, an energy of coming together. This is like, uh, like a, a union energy, a celebration energy. And uh, there is some kind of deception here um, that is associated with this energy of serendipity. Serendipity is like everything is rainbows and um, everything is rainbows and sunny skies and angels and just like heaven, like everything is so perfect. All right. So in this perfect type of energy here, there is some kind of seven of swords taking place with this um four of wands which is like this foundation energy all right we have four pillar pillars up in the ground this is the foundation and so there is some kind of deception energy when it comes to this uh serendipity um it's connected to a true love energy all right this is having to do with a true love uh, it's having to do with this is uh, the romance of a lifetime. With this true love here, it's clarified by the fool. So this is about taking a leap of faith into the unknown, like going in a whole different direction. Like the stuff that you're normally doing, it's like going into a whole different direction. Totally something new. That's what the fool's energy is about taking a leap of faith into the unknown going into a different direction um and that is associated with this true love energy and uh it's this true love is this taking a leap of faith with this true love energy has to do with an indecision um regarding a message of concern so um this leap of faith into the unknown is having to do with some kind of message either a message or was received or the message was given out or some kind of message was concerning and um, this there was some kind of indecision or, or maybe uh, somebody was refusing to uh, make a decision 
or they just had a blindfold on and just was not moving, relating to a message of concern, all right? And this is associated with that uh, taking a leap of faith into the unknown regarding true love. So um, this is further... Um, this is further clarified by um, the coffin here. So your person's energy is also um, this coffin energy. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So um, your person here is also in this energy of endings and new beginnings towards you. Um, and it's associated with this energy related to the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is having to do with maybe a past connection here. The Six of Cups is like a past connection. This is an energy of um, maybe you guys knew each other for a long time or knew each other in the past. Um, this is like, this could be like a child-like energy, like um, a playful type of energy. We have here little uh, younger people here playing with bunnies, playing with the animals. It's like a really light energy. It's it's like a friendship type of energy too. It could be a soulmate energy, all right? And this could be an energy from the past. This could be a past connection, somebody that you had good memories with, and or this could be about somebody to, that you had a past life connection with. And um, there is a lot of positive energy here that with these two people here with the sunflowers, there has been some type of transformation. Um, there has been some type of emotional um, mastery here. Um, there is something new here, all right? And there's something that has to do with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this is about um, fortune, uh, the, the wheel turning in fortune, things working out. Uh, in a fortunate way uh, for for the good for the good for the for the goodness for the for the for the um, for the wheel to turn in a good way so this is what this coffin is about okay so that is um, your person's energy towards you and uh, let's get into the situation all right so this is what their energy is towards you and now uh, what is the situation involving? So we're going to talk about this part of the reading. Uh, so this part of the reading has to do with the King of Pentacles here and waves of emotions. So either this could be about, uh, you know, this masculine here. This could be a masculine in this King of Pentacles energy. Um, really wanting to stabilize, be affluent, be grounded, be nurturing. Um, you know, having their life together and their money together and having themselves together, stable and grounded, firmly rooted into the earth with abundance, um, relating to um, waves of emotions coming and going. So um, I feel like they're they're wanting to get a good handle on themselves relating to emotions that have, uh, you know, have been coming and going in waves. And uh, it's associated further by inner turmoil, five of wands with the distance horizon. So this, it, this could be a part of the uh, em emotions, the, the heavy emotions coming and going. This er inner turmoil that is associated with something in, in the future, something in the distant future. Okay. Because um, this anchor here is, it's not anchored anywhere. It's up in the air. So it's, it's kind of like an unknown in connection to this distant future, inner tur turmoil in connection to that. And um, we have here the star card in reversed and nature. So something, some kind of disharmony, all right, some kind of uh, loss, some kind of loss of wishes, disharmony. Um, a need, a need to uh, heal uh, in connection to nature. Um, nature is an energy that's connected to the earth. It could be connected to the environment, uh, connected to um, 
utilizing the environment in a way that um, it could be about healing, it could be about grounding, um, it could be about something to do with um, being out in the environment and some kind of disharmony uh, with the environment, um, some kind of um, something blocked, uh, either something blocked in terms of wishes relating to the environment or nature. So uh, this is what the, the situation is involving for your person here. So uh, their energy, the situation is involving making a solid offer, making a solid offer towards pretending. So um, this, this, it says here, fake living beyond means. So maybe um, there was some type of uh, new offer or, or some type of manifestation uh, that occurred in connection to um, pretending uh, fake living beyond means. So um, this pretending could have been also too about um, making a solid offer as well. And uh, it says here effort, all right? So there was an effort here that was connected to um, this pretending energy, all right? There was some kind of effort here. Uh, but what was happening with this effort was um, there was this energy of transition, the Six of Swords. So the purpose of this effort was to have a transition, the Six of Swords, going from one place to another place, right? Um, hoping that there would be this next place to transition uh, was better than where they were from the time before. All right, but there's still some some um, some swords energy, some worries that are still going with this person in this transition. So there was an effort here that was connected to um, this pretending energy, and it was involving some type of um, solid offer. Okay, and um, with this effort now, uh, they're wanting to uh, transition. Um, this pretending energy too is also, um, having to do with, um, this two of pentacles here. So, and this two of pentacles is like a juggling energy with this, uh, wealthy man. So this could have been like a juggling energy, um, like not, not sure what to decide or, um, like these are two decisions, but this person here is trying to hold it down with both decisions so they're trying to like balance themselves with these two um these two pentacles so um one of these pentacles were probably one of these things here this other pentacle represents something else they were trying to hold it down with both uh at, like to try to take care of everything and uh it's connected to this wealthy man energy who is this, it could be a divine masculine energy. Um, this wealthy man is, is, I'm being pointed towards this king of pentacles energy, who is, they have similar energies here. Um, there is a lot of masculine energy coming through. Um, like your person here is in this energy of king of wands towards the door to romance. They want to, um, take action towards you in terms of in a romantic way they're wanting to really take action and leadership in connection to that all right and um i'm getting here too with this action and leadership here there is this um there was this juggling here this was a situation here but they're wanting to take some type of action uh in connection to the door to romance all right so that's the rating for you guys. That's what I have uh, today. Let me know if this resonates by liking, commenting, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. I want to thank you, and I will see you guys on Friday. Take care and all the best.